students welcome to show Obsess classes this is Imadri Dattan so in today's video we'll be talking about a very interesting topic which is quite often asked by various students like the question is how to get admission in economics honors so the commonest question that we usually face is what that is how to get admission in economics honors so there are few others adjoining questions which comes with this question so they are what are the date of an entrance exam what are the syllabus of entrance exam so what are the colleges of entrance exam so in this video we'll be talking about what are the eligibility of entrance exam and what are the colleges where you can apply and what are the syllabus for those exams so first of all what we need to know is that it is the entrance in economics honors is not compulsory for all universities that is the for economics honors entrance is not compulsory for all universities so there are two ways the admission takes place one way is what one way is through entrance stress and another way through merit list so these are the two ways that the economics honors admission takes place so whichever city you are in it is most probably these are the two main ways the admission takes place so now what is entrance test now one thing you have to remember whether it for merit list or whether it for entrance test there is a minimum eligibility criteria which you have to satisfy now say there are two types of college say for college number A so there is a type called A type of college and there is another type which is B type of college so for A type of college the usual eligibility criteria is 60 percent marks that you have to get in your 12th board exam so there is a type of college which we consider as A type of college like there are various colleges like Presidency University Xavier's for them 60% is the eligibility cutoff that you must have to you must qualify in order to further be able to give the entrance test now there is another thing there is another type of college which does not require 60% but which is usually require 50% and obviously out of these two types of college there is another type of college which does not require anything you just need to give you will be selected on the basis of merit list so in this video we won't be considering those colleges but for those colleges you just need to go through the merit list process so for these two types of college first of all you need to get a minimum eligibility which is 50% or 60% now once you have achieved this mark or once you have got this marks in your 12 boards exam so it is usually it is usually the marks will be added in the basis of on the basis of english plus maths and two other subjects so now if you have economics if you had economics already then it will be added in your merit list that is the merit list will come out so now for entrance exam what happens is that you really need to go through a few basic concepts like usually the entrance states concern about mathematics portion then English portion for most of the university it will be mathematics English for some it there will be logical reasoning as well and apart from it there will be a section for economics so there are few colleges or university where you have to go through this paper as well so for economics there are couple of things that you need to do mostly there are two things that we need to understand the first one is microeconomics i hope most of the people in your class 12 isc or cbs or any state board you have studied microeconomics and you have also studied macroeconomics so i'm expecting those who came from CBSC, you guys have studied development economics as well. I do not think that will be too much needed for this entrance exam. But two things that you need to be concerned about is that one is microeconomics, another is macroeconomics. 
Now there is another paper that you must have done if you had economics in your class 12. That is the paper called statistics. There is another paper called statistics. No, I think the statistic part will be covered in this math section only. So what are the kind of questions that are going to come in the entrance exam? So the first question will be coming from maths English which is called quant qualitative and logical reasoning portion and there will be another part where the question will come from economics so that is from microeconomics and macroeconomics now out of these two first of all we need to remember what so the first step that you need to make sure is that you have got a certain percentage in your boards so once you have got that certain percentage now you are qualified to sit for either entrance exam or you can directly apply for merit list. Now what is merit list? Merit list is basically kind of ranking system where you will be given different ranks given your performance in the earlier exam. So on the basis of that you can also be selected. Now there is one more criteria or eligibility that you need to qualify for. That is you must have mathematics in your boards, 12 boards. So you must have mathematics. So this is a must for all the people who are willing to pursue economics honors. So you must have mathematics in your 12 boards. So one more thing, this mathematics is not business mathematics that most of the commerce students have. This is pure mathematics. So this is not business mathematics. So this is one thing that you need to be careful about. That this mathematics eligibility does not go with this business mathematics stuff it is only for pure mathematics so the first step is marks that you need to get in your class 12 board so keep studying so that is the first thing you need to do leave everything stop this video if you need it go and start studying because that is the first thing you need to do that is you need to get marks if you want to go for good colleges i'm expecting as you are watching this video that you are actually looking for good colleges so for that you need to get good marks now with marks you need what maths you need maths with good marks but remember one thing 60 percent or 50 percent marks if you go through the process of merit list won't take you anywhere so you need to get around 80 percent for some university 90 percent for some university 99 percent so the cutoff depends on the people who are applying in that university. So we have to remember what? First step is you should study now. Okay, what you should study? Maths, English, logical reasoning, and obviously economics, micro and macro portion along with the other subject that you have in your boards exam. So now after you have gone through it or you have, suppose you have cleared the entrance exam and the merit list, another question which comes in our mind so once we know what are the ways you can get through economics honors, how to get through economics honors, for that surely first thing you need to get marks, then you need to have maths, then you need to go for the entrance exam. If there is no entrance exam, you have to go through this merit list selection process. Now another question comes, if you go through entrance exam, what will, be ha what will happen? Then you have to sit for, you need to study quant and qualitative and economics portion which is micro and macroeconomics. Now another question which is often asked that is when it comes to this entrance test that is what are the university or colleges are good for economics honors. So now in this video we will be mentioning a few universities and colleges which are good for pursuing economics honors. So now some of the university which are there, so they are the following things, names I will be writing down here. The first university I will write down is St. Xavier's Kolkata. So it is a good university. So it is St. Xavier's Kolkata. For this, you need not sit for any entrance exam. All you have to do is, you need to get good marks in your boards, a very good marks, so that you can get through this merit list selection process. So this St. Xavier's College is based on, in, it, it is in Kolkata. So now there are other colleges. First, I'll, when I have started with Kolkata, 
I will be talking about colleges which are there in Kolkata first. So there are other good colleges. Say for an example, there is college like Presidency University. I hope you guys have heard, you guys have heard of it. There is college name. So there is Presidency University. So this college is also there in Kolkata. So for them, as far as I know, that is you need not go through any entrance test for undergraduate course. All you have to do is you have to go through this merit list process. Now I will be writing down a few other names like say for an example, Delhi University, we know, we know this name. Then there are other colleges like Christ University, there are colleges like DAC, Delhi School of Economics, there is IGDR, then there is colleges like Calcutta University, under Calcutta University there are various colleges like Ashutosh College, Scottish Church College and there is also another university that I forgot to mention that is Jadavpur University. So now I have a list of university which you can apply for, like say for an example there is another university in Mumbai, a college called HR College for Commerce and Economics. This is a very famous university, college I mean. And there is Sri Ram College of Commerce which is based in, in Delhi, I hope you guys know. And there is Indian Institute of Management and Commerce in Hyderabad. And there is BM College of Commerce in Pune. So these are the various universities that we have, you can apply for. So now, if you want to know more about the dates when the entrance exam will take place and what are the syllabus, I have already talked about the basic syllabus. Now, if there is any specific syllabus, you can simply go to the sites of this university. You can simply Google the name of the university. So, their site will come. You can simply go through that process. Now, there is another university, JNU, okay, which is Jawaharlal Nehru University that there you can also apply. Now, Apart from it, there is one more information that is you need after all this process, the next step is suppose you have got selected. So you will be pursuing undergraduate course for three years. So what are the things that you will learn in this undergraduate course? So there will be portion syllabuses like there will be microeconomics concept, macroeconomics concept, mathematical economics, statistics, then there will be Indian economics, development economics. So these are the papers that are going to be there in the three year course. So I hope I managed to answer the basic question that I often get from the students. So I hope your doubts are clear. If you still have any query or doubts, you can simply WhatsApp me on this number, which is 9836793076. Or you can also go to our website, which we have, that is www.showropsersclasses.com. There you will also find a lot of other materials which are related to this kind of information. So I hope you guys will, you guys like the video. If you still have any query or doubt, you have already my number. You can simply WhatsApp me regarding your doubt. So all the best for your exam and do not forget to study harder for your boards because this is necessary. So have a nice day ahead.